What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the next video on learning uh, Laravel. My name is QDS Danny and you guys are watching my channel Crywood. Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about the controller and namespaces. Say, uh, for example, if you're creating the social uh, ID and you're looking here if you create creating social ID with uh, we have, which we have a social controller at uh, the method show. So this is the guys here. You need uh, all of these uh, methods here with the resource. So if you see here, we need a show, we need to edit, we need to update and destroy. What happens, for example, if you guys creating the controller, then uh, uh, we're gonna see the index, then we're gonna see the say show, update, delete, whatever. And keep in mind, this is the namespace. So here, what do we have here? App, which is the app here. That's a HTTP. The HTTP is here. There is a second folder, HTTP and controllers. So why we use a namespace is same, for example, in the large scale enterprise applications like Laravel, because there are hundreds of thousands of applications, our uh, classes, our, uh, you can see pages, then the namespace is gonna be, for example, very helpful. For example, if you guys have a, say for example, Joe, excellent, for example, in uh, a one family, and uh, you have a Joe, excellent, in uh, another family for example and they both working for uh, say uh, a company and uh, Joe excellent the first Joe is in uh, say for example electrical department and uh, another Joe excellent uh, which is gonna be for example the cousin or uh, some relatives of the first Joe excellent is gonna work for the say engineering departments or you can say uh, for uh, security departments all right, so now how are we going to differentiate between which Joe Excellent, for example? Imagine if these two Joe Excellent going for uh, playing with the, for the football, company football, uh, say, uh, club. Or, uh... All right, so in this uh, football club, for example, they are uh, going for a match. And the commentators, they are uh, asking, the, say, for example, the Pauls in Joe Excellent. And the people is going to be confused. Okay, Joe Excellent passing the ball to the uh, Joe Excellent, and the Joe Excellent did the goal. For example, our Joe Excellent did uh, this and blah blah blah. So, in the people is going to be very very confused because uh, now the commentators uh, referring to Joe Excellent with Joe Excellent or with Joe Blow or whatever. Because in that that ones we need a namespace because there's a lot of confusion say for example now we're going to see uh, joe excellent from uh, electrical uh, department for example and uh, now we say another joe excellent from for example from the security department so now there is a football match and the commentator goes uh, the ball the Joe Excellent from electrical department has the ball and pass it to another Joe Excellent from to the security department then it makes sense. That's exactly we have uh, with uh, namespaces. So namespaces are the way for us to organize our applications. In our program you might have a lot of uh, other controllers. Say for example everywhere there is a controllers and uh, these controllers for example all of these have a controllers for example and uh, if you guys flip off of any of these and uh, you guys are going to see there is a resources and uh, these resources for example there is a utils and there's uh, hundreds of thousands of other controllers but none of the controllers have an app maybe because this sits on the top at the Laravel so that's what the namespace comes in uh, very handy what happens if you for example have a uh, Say for example, we have a uh, HTTP controllers, and we have an uh, admin, which we need a lot, a lot of methods. Say for example, manager, social students, which there's going to be a lot of people involved. What happen if what happens if we have we are going for uh, say for example a diamond company, and so the diamond company is going to ask us to create a say a diamond controller, for example. So if you're going to come here. And uh, we're gonna put a PHP artisan make controller, and uh, for example, we put a say we put a PHP artisan make colon we put a controller diamond controller. All 
and uh, we can put a plane because we don't want anything inside okay so as I said uh, previously that the plane does not exist anymore because uh, it was deprecated in uh, uh, Laravel so if you just put a plane uh, diamond controller that should do because the plane has been deprecated as I was suspecting okay so now we're gonna put a PHP artisan serve because if you look in here diamond controller has nothing because it's already plain so if it's already plain then that Laravel has been uh, has deprecated this one because Laravel now by default creates the plane because if you look in here we in the previous video we have created with the resources all this but now Laravel decided that uh, they don't want it to create by default this one okay so now what happens if the diamond uh, controller we have a company and this company uh, only wants one one method and that's about it they don't want anything else they don't want like uh, here that we put a show our index say for example we're gonna come here we have a uh, say for example uh, if you want to put an ID we, then we put a ID then we put a show then we put an index all of this what happens if you guys don't need any of this there's a there's a solution for 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 us Laravel because Laravel the guys are very clever and the guys are very hard working day and night and they created something for us say for example if you're gonna come a diamond controller say for example if you're gonna come here and put a route get we put a route and then get uh, what we're gonna get and then we're gonna get uh, for example uh, a show we put a show and uh, what is the controller the controller is gonna be in diamond controller okay so now if we have a company and they say uh, the diamond says we have only, I want only one method here and all the, the only method is going to be the show and what are you guys going to do say for example if you're going to come here and say for example we put a show Then this says that invalid route action. Uh, you guys, what do you mean by the show? I didn't understand this uh, diamond. Uh, if you look in here, it says uh, HTTP controller diamond is not invocable. The controller class HTTP diamond controller is not invocable. Uh, did you forget to use invoke method in the controller method missing in your route file? That's exactly what I was talking about. So here, if you put a 11 say for example we are, we do, because we don't have anything to show the diamond number 11 then we're going to get error all right so in order to solve this and uh, because uh, you guys uh, don't have any of these methods and we don't have anything you guys need to put a uh, something called uh, invocable function so how we gonna in, uh, create the public function invocable function then we're gonna put uh, something uh, like invoke All right, so now we put a return and we put the, the diamond number is and uh, we can here even uh, pass something called ID. For example, we call the pass diamond ID and we can happily tell the customer, look, uh, we have something uh, called diamond ID that's what we, the diamond uh, number our ID is now we have uh, some uh, function but that's the only function we have and uh, here you guys can put a show or you can put a diamond show for example and you can put a ID you can put a say for example diamond ID our uh, we can put simply ID I don't want to confuse you guys so I just put ID and we're going to change all this ID and this one guy is going to be ID as well okay so we're going to save all and if you guys notice 
that we have in our route we don't have here at the at symbol we just leave it as rtz because we have only one function and we have only one method and that's invoke method now uh, if you are using your controller for only one you guys need to put this invoke because we want to invoke our uh, say diamond for example if you put it like that and your error is going to go away so the diamond id is 11 say if you put up the diamond id is for example number 1000 that's what you guys want to see so with the laravel if you guys uh, want to use your uh, controller for only one uh, fun uh, one action and this is called action here this is called action because uh, you guys whatever you guys want to show to the user that's called action and uh, here we have uh, many many actions because here if you look in here we have uh, we can create so many actions here we can create a index we can create a create store we can put our forms in the create we can put a, a login or uh, we can put a register if we can put a show we can put a edit update delete, delete whatever we want to do is so many actions here but in this case here we only want one we don't want any more and you guys need to put invoke so if you go for a job and your boss tells you that you show us show me the controller uh, write for me controller to if I want only one method for you from you guys and if you look in here and I want an ID at the same time you want the ID so what you guys gonna do in your URI just put a some sort of uh, show our uh, display our uh, whatever you want to guys want to put it here and you guys gonna put your uh, ID here and here you don't need to put anything else just put the name of the controller that's about it laravel is going to come here and bump up to this one is going to look at here show and there is an id here quickly goes there in the controller looks at this and it says find this controller here and looks at this controller and find this invoke and there is an id and there's a diamond id you can put a lot of other operations here as well so now uh, you guys uh, are uh, free to use this one anywhere you like uh, and if you guys don't even need to put a at say for example invoke you guys don't need this our uh, at show or anything else you guys don't need you guys just leave the name of the controller and that's about it and you can use uh, your id so that's a uh, controller namespaces keep in mind the namespaces in the controller or uh, for example here we have uh, models if you look in here we all of them have a uh, uh, namespace here and we can use a namespace here in our control so we are using namespace uh, say here now we have uh, put a uh, controller and it has a namespace and we are invoking so now our controller only gonna do one action one and only one action and that's gonna be the showing the diamond id so that's about it all right guys uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe cryo if you guys have any question or comment, leave in the comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.